but I think the whole music space needs a shift right now. I think it's it's, it's a it's a very interesting time to be a musician. So now that you're in NFT art, and a lot of artists have gone that route, do you think you will ever go back to the traditional ways of distributing your art, or are you kind of sticking in this lane rather than going back to the traditional? Yeah, I mean, I think it's like anything when you learn. I mean, you're very inspired of, of a new way of doing things. You, you really try to figure out how to dive in. After getting into crypto and getting into NFTs and learning more about how Web3 is going to affect music, I actually told myself, let me actually learn about different aspects in the space so that I can also teach and provide more information to other artists. Right now, it's really about figuring out how NFTs and music will really find synergy. So whether I drop my next single or my next album as an NFT and we tokenize it and mm. um, allow fans and make money off of the work. A lot of artists are kind of just observing it from the from afar and like, where's the industry going to move? Are the labels going to start approaching Web3 um, ways to do things? So, uh, you know, it's a lot of confusion in the space as an artist, but I, I kind of just took the initiative to go out to NFT LA and NFT mm -hmm. Miami Week and sit on panels and ask questions and, you know, really just try to understand it early on um, before it really hits... Uh, mass adoption but we're all i think the whole music space needs a shift right now i think it's 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 a it's a very interesting time to be a musician um in, in the digital space and i've seen fans who followed some projects that i've supported who bought nfts or set up their own wallets so i think it's just about you know if you have a platform and you know uh what's happening in the space just kind of share that information i think we're all becoming influencers in a different capacity to just be able to share and, and inform and for me it's really about ownership and really decentralizing yourself as an artist. I'm also independent. I had a, a, a contract with Rock Nation for four years. Oh, wow. Um, mm. And to get out of the contracts and now be in an independent space and be able to dive that into Web3 with full control um, is also something that I, I push on to artists for their own independence. Like we've given that control to labels, but now we're learning how to do it ourselves, which is very powerful. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Make sure you tune in every day. Also hit that like, subscribe, and notification buttons. We'll see you tomorrow.